Good morning, folks. We've got a number of key science stories to get to today. Weather and weather alerts. We've got the closest star starting to wake up as well. So let's get started at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star was a matter of growing coronal holes, a new active region on the Earth-facing disk, and motion around the limbs. The active regions now do have sunspot umbra beneath the bright arching fields. The new group was born overnight out ahead of the other equatorial group. Neither is too large yet, but development can happen quickly, and this is what we're keeping an eye on today. The solar wind is slightly variable, but wholly within normal ambient stream range, and so expectedly we find geomagnetic conditions all in the green. Well, folks, it's that season in India again. Lightning is a tremendous threat in the region, and every time I checked yesterday, the death toll kept going up. Coming again tonight in the eastern subcontinent. Australia doing its impression of the United States winter right now and messing with the temperatures. Record late season heat is about to give way to a tremendous cold wave. Coming tonight, we've got isolated but very severe warnings for the parts of France under the highest risk here. Meanwhile, overnight tonight we're going to see a bit of heavier conditions in the Midwest, but tomorrow and through the week is where we'll want to weather watch here. Each night, the storms grow as the low will ever so slowly take its time creeping across the country. We've got a fun article to start here, and then we start carving. Evidence of bow hunting 60,000 years ago brings up some serious cognitive issues. This should not have been possible for humans at that time, unless something crazy is true like there were more advanced ancient human civilizations than we realize and they got wiped out by something terrible long ago. But that's crazy, right? Actually, no, there's a 44-episode series on that topic we have called Cosmic Disaster, and it is linked below the video in the description box. If you find yourself here, you're going to want to check that out as soon as possible. Moving on. After Captain Chemtrail and General Geoengineering made the news last week, here are the Sultans of Spray in to remind everyone of the potential unintended consequences. While you may have heard of the drought and flood potential with weather modification, Unexpected changes to extratropical storm tracks are also a major possibility. Yet another reason, it's a bad idea to play God in the sky. Up next, as climate scientists focus ever more on the ozone, let us recall that Earth's changing magnetic field will allow for ever more solar control over the ozone. UV light helps to make it, but too much can destroy it, and so can the solar protons from large eruptions. We're going to do a quick gear switch to the problems with the new climate models. First up, it's the inability to replicate the observations of sea ice. In addition to failing to produce reality, CMIP6 models are also having even larger biases than the previous CMIP5 models. Now this can happen when you make the same mistake as this group. It appears the top climate scientists in France have opted for the blue pill. While it is true that they are not required to use the solar particle forcing quite yet, it is astounding to me that almost three years after the release of those data sets, we still have allegedly serious climate scientists trying to take the easy way out, academically shameful. The particle forcing is how we reconcile the numerous correlations between solar forcing and indirect interaction with volcanic aerosols, which is difficult to accomplish without cosmic rays and energetic electron precipitation, which we went over a bit yesterday. Now, last but not least, we are seeing the identification of a simple yet elegant fix for many of the inadequacies of treatment of the whole climate modeling problem. With new information about the global electric circuit, they now have the brilliant idea that effects on the middle atmosphere could potentially have effects on the troposphere below. The middle atmosphere is the stratosphere and mesosphere, the interface region between the top side electric layers and the coupled regions below. Luckily, for about 300 students in choice universities across the globe, and for many of you watching the show, the proper education on the solar effect of these layers and below begins this fall. The top 500 studies in the field, the electrodynamic control of various geophysical phenomena, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, is only discounted for a pre-order period a few more days. Spaceweathernews.com slash publications. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.